Hey, what's up guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to another Call of the Wild video on my channel here today. In this episode of the noob guide series that I've been doing over the last few weeks, I'm going to be going over skills and perks. Now I'm going to be showing you guys my personal favorite skill slash perk setup. It might not be the best in the game, but it does work really, really good. Some people prefer other perks than others, but I'm going to show you guys what I run. And like I said, it works great. It does everything I need to do. And if you guys want to copy it, then you are more than welcome to. And also, also, if you want to share your skill slash perk setup in the comments, uh, somehow, I guess you could do that. Then uh, let me know, like if there's any perks that you swap out with mine, I guess. Uh, anyways, it looks like it's starting to rain on us for there a second. Um, that's that's kind of no good. I guess I'll go change the time again real quick. Jesus Christ. There's always something. There's always something. All right. Well, I mean, that that's not that much better. I, I changed about like 30 minutes. So anyways, that's not the point. We're going to go ahead and open up our menu. Hit escape if you're on PC. I can't remember what it is on PlayStation and stuff. I used to play this game on PlayStation. I'm pretty sure if you just hit the, the pause menu, like start or whatever it is, then you'll be greeted with this screen. You can go to skills and you can also go to perks. Now, skills are going to go over basically like your spotting, your tracking, things like that. And then perks are for your weapons and i'm gonna go over these in just a moment but these are gonna vary a little bit just depending on what you're using and i'll get into that in a second just like i said so we're gonna start off with stalker as you can see i have more skills in the stalker section than ambusher just because stalker it just it just has better ones in my opinion so i'm not gonna sit here and just ramble on if you want to read the description you can i'm not gonna read every single one of these the first one, I max out locate tracks. This basically will allow you to see tracks from farther away and a more accurate tracking cone. Over to tier one, I max out track knowledge. This one tells you what kind of gender the animal is when you're picking up vocalization calls. It tells you how many animals are in the group when investigating these zones. It also tells you the approximate weight when investigating footprints and the fur type when investigating disturbed vegetation. And I have none of these here. Move over to tier two. I have connect the dots maxed out. That's basically just for your map. You could probably swap this out for something else, but I just I just hold on to this one. Soft feet, this one is pretty important. It will reduce your noise and larger vegetation and stuff like that. So pretty important there, especially if you like bow hunting and stuff and you want to get close to animals. Moving over to tier three, I have in it triangulation and in it triangulation. Is that English? I don't know. Each level decreases the size of the animal vocalizations. So basically, whenever an animal calls, you're going to be able to tell which direction it came from a lot easier. Improvise blind further decreases your visibility when inside large bushes and scrubs or shrubs. Sorry, that is very important if you like being stealthy. Again, like I said, same thing with this one here, soft feet. So these ones can pair together pretty good. Endurance. I do a lot of running and walking in this game as we all do. So this is going to allow your heart rate to go down faster. So typically say I'm running around and I see something off in the distance. I'll be able to take a shot on that animal a lot sooner because my heart rate will die down a lot faster. Moving on to tier four, this reveals new track type. This is disturbed vegetation. This is going to allow you to pick it up and tell what kind of fur type that animal has as long as you have this skill here. I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll tell you um, right there. You can see level three reveals information about an animal's approximate weight when investigating footprints and fur type when investigating disturbed vegetation. So if you get this one, then you're going to need this one for it to work. I think I'm not too sure on that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's how that works there. So disturbed vegetation, pretty important when you're trying out, when you're going out there and uh, trying to hunt down some rare animals. We'll come over here to ambusher. I have this one for scent just so I can, because obviously this is the only one here. So you have to get at least one or two of these in order for you to be able to unlock the next tier. I have spotting knowledge maxed out. You can read that there. Tier two, I have sight spotting and then only one level, level of fatal attraction. And that is it for my ambusher skills. Now moving on to the perks. I'm not going to sit here and read every single one of these. If you just want to just if you just want to go over them yourselves, you can. But I have both of these for muscle memory. I have all three of them for birth breath control. <laughs> I almost said birth control. Jesus. I have all two of them for steady hands. Zeroing. A lot of people, some people like zeroing. Some people don't. It's, it's just whichever way you want to swing. You can either go 
for zeroing or not. And I also have focus shot, which is gonna allow you to increase the zoom whenever you're using iron sights and red dots and stuff. Whenever you hold your breath, it zooms in. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's really nice actually. So that one I highly recommend. Handguns. If you're not using handguns and you want to use shotguns, don't even worry about using the handguns slot. You only get a certain amount of perk points, so you're not going to be be able to fill out all of these. So lately, I've been using a bow. If I wanted, if I ever wanted to go over and use a shotgun, what I'll normally do is I'll reset my perks and I'll grab, you know, the shotgun one and just so I can get shotgun skills. But I mean, normally with a shotgun, you don't really need the perks, in my opinion, if you're good enough with them. But the bows, these these perks are pretty important so full draw maxed out moving shot maxed out increased confidence maxed out recycle maxed and then one of two with pumping iron and then none of them for like a pro so whenever i am using my bows those are the perks that i use for those and then for shotguns i would definitely go for both eyes open fast shouldering body control and recoil management and i'm pretty sure that's all you would be able to get out of those so those would be your best bets there. Handguns, I run sprint and load. This one is very important. This goes for all weapons. This one I recommend you get whether like over anything. This one is super nice because it'll unlock the ability to reload animals or weapons, sorry, while reloading. And it's so nice to be able to sit there and run, especially like if a if a buffalo or something is charging at you and say you have the seven mil, you can shoot it and you can keep running from it while you're reloading and then turn around and pop it again. So very, very important there. I have quick feet, both of those, none for survival instinct. I have ranger, the ability to gauge approximate distance to a target while aiming with in any weapon. That one's pretty nice there. I don't have the perk uh, actually activated, but sometimes, you know, it's kind of decent. This one is actually probably more important than this, but this is decreased decreases reload time of all weapons. Each level unlocked increases the effect. So I have this one maxed out. Without this, you're one gonna reload really, really slow. Like I'll show you here how fast, you know, it allows you to reload, boom, boom. And then I'll actually reset it for you really quick. And I'm pretty sure when you reset your perks, you have to exit the game and come back to it or it doesn't actually you know take effect you can see how much slower that was i'll shoot that again you, you can just see how slow he like breaks the barrel and everything so when you reset your perks this isn't going to get rid of your perk points you'll be able to get them back you can see now i have seven perk points again it just it does cost money 35k for those it's pretty ridiculous how much it does cost but i mean it's not only worth it once you play the game enough you will have plenty of money and the reason i have this one is because if you don't buy this then you can't unlock these ones so go ahead and buy that all right here we are we have the perk equipped boom 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 it's it's pretty fast you can definitely tell the difference and it's much nicer especially for the guns that have you know magazines and clips and all that good stuff you can really tell a big difference on guns like the m1 grand and the mosin but those are my skills and perks they work really well for me you guys have seen how many diamonds i've killed and rares and you guys get to see those perks in action every time you watch one of my hunting videos and obviously you can tell they work pretty well because I can normally kill a handful of animals. So hopefully that did help a lot of you newer players and maybe even help some of you veteran players. If it did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a bunch and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.